Welcome to another exciting ICT class. I hope we had a nice time while doing our tests. Today, we are going to be looking at a very important and interesting topic that is titled Digital Sharing. I will say it again, Digital Sharing. Some of us are already asking, what is digital sharing? Why do we need digital sharing? In this class, we're going to be looking at the meaning of digital sharing. We're also going to be looking at information that can be shared. Tools for sharing information. Yes, there are so many tools that we can use to share information. We're going to be looking at that also. We're also going to look at a very important topic on that digital sharing, which is called copyright policy. And lastly, we will also look at piracy. What is digital sharing? Digital sharing is the technological way of getting and receiving information. Now, when we say technological way of getting information, it means using technological tools, not bush burning, not tank crying, using of tools with technology to get and receive information. And we can get information quickly from any digital source. There are so many digital sources that we can get information. Can any one of you tell me one of these sources? I guess you do. Some of this information that can be shared include articles, poems, they can also be shared, documents, films and animation, your movies that you watch, was shared by someone, researches, educational researches, contents, lessons can also be shared, music and video. And lastly, news, sports news, entertainment news, educative news, social news, they can all be shared using digital sources. Now we share information and receive information with one very important source called the internet. The internet is one good way of getting information quickly. Internet, like the name goes, inter and net means international network. The internet allows millions of people all over the world to share resources and also get information. This information has been placed by either one person or group of people. We can get information quickly at the same time using the internet. Some reasons for sharing information online are why people share information, why people decide to give out some information online to bring valuable enlightening content into the lives of people. Just the same way Mr. Samuel is also delivering content on our portal so that you can be able to read and watch this content and know more about ICT. People give information online so that other people can be enlightened about valuable information, valuable content. Also, to share information with other people. Information are placed online so that other people can read and be motivated and know more knowledge. To stay connected with families and friends. When we share information online, people are always connected with their loved ones. Also, to warn others of intending dangers. This part is very necessary in sharing information. In our day-to-day -day life, there are so many dangers attached. And with the help of digital information, we can know and get more warnings for of impending dangers. Some days back, 
I remembered we got a news at night that urban market was on fire. This news came as fast as it was because of digital information. People got up that night to go and save their goods. Why? Because they got their information at night. Some people can be traveling and they will see information online telling them, please, if you are passing so, so, and so road, be warned that there are armed robbers on the way. People can also be warned of intending dangers because of digital sharing, because information are shared, are passed across digitally. So this is always very important in digital sharing. Also for business deals, people post their businesses online and they get quick response. They sell online. I have a friend that has a shoe business and she's making money online. She's posting her shoes online and people are buying. Why? Because of digital sharing. You share your product, you snap it and share it digitally and people begin to call you and make deals. Also to inspire others. Great men and women that have achieved put their information online so that people in that line of business, in that line of jobs, in that line of work, will want to read their messages and be inspired and be motivated. So because of that, important information are placed online so that they can read and follow. This is also very important to meet with old and new friends. All these are reasons why people put information online. Tools for sharing information digitally. We have the computer, the telephone, your Android tablet, radio, television. All these are valuable tools for sharing information. But we have mediums for getting digital information. I know there are so many mediums, but I'm going to just say a little. These mediums include your social media handles, like your Facebook, your Instagram, YouTube, where we can get videos that can help us in teaching and learning also. WhatsApp, Twitter, one very good search engine that is known worldwide called your Google, Google.com. We also have Wikipedia. All these are mediums for sharing information. But just as we have given information out, they are very important information. So because of that, it is very important that we protect our information that are given out. Why do we protect this information? So that people cannot use it for unjust purposes or people do not steal it and sell it at a lower cost. Just like when you, you are creating a textbook and someone else carries that to your work and creates a duplicate of that textbook and sells it at a lower rate. I know you believe that people may not even want to buy your own because it's not high. They will want to go for the pirated one. So because of that, we have to copyright our work. Now, what is copyright? Now, what is copyright? Copyright is a protection that is given to our creative work. It also helps creators to get paid for their work. Now, when we copyright our work, our work becomes safe and it will be difficult for other people to steal our work. Before using another person's work, it is important that you notify the person the copyright symbol, which is a circled C, is placed at the front or side of a product to indicate that it's protected and cannot be reused by another person. Some days back, I wanted to make a video, and inside that video, I collected another video from YouTube. And when I finished making this video, I put it online so that other people can watch it. But 
I did not realize that that video I carried, that another person's video I carried, was copyrighted. So, after creating my own video, they sent a message that I will not be able to use my video. Why? Because I did not notify that the other person that I am using his video. I pirated my own video. So, because of that, I was not able to use it. I'm supposed to pay for that video. So, when we copyright our work, people will not be able to use it. People will not be able to, to carry it. Reasons for copywriting our creative work. To protect all kinds of work that we have done. To make creators have ownership of their work. To make content creators get paid, which is very important. Hard work pays. When you work, it is necessary you get paid for it. It also makes people not to copy our work for unjust purposes. Now, talking about copying our work, it's called piracy. Piracy is an unauthorized copying of our copyrighted content that is then sold at a lower price in the market. People who pirate our work are called pirates. Piracy is an illegal act that can affect other people's creativity. It's a criminal offense by law. So because of that, it is not wise to copy other people's work. Effects of piracy to digital sharing. It makes people feel sad and depressed when you copy their work. After they have spent their time, their energy in creating a content or in making an information, you just go there and copy it. It makes them depressed. It may also discourage people from putting creative work online. And lastly, it makes creators not to have ownership of their work. They may not even get enough money from the work. Why? Because it is pirated. And I noticed that pirated work are always lower in price compared to original work. So because of that, people tend to start getting the pirated work because it is cheap and ignoring the original ones, which will make those that have created the work to be less paid. So I encourage us to always copyright our work so that pirates will not be able to duplicate it. Do not forget to do the next activity, which is the fun game. It is a creative game that has been placed for us to be able to learn more about digital sharing. And also try as much as possible to submit your assignment properly. See you in our next class. Bye.